Hey YouTube, um, before you blame me for basically doing two star replays in one video, I want you guys to know that I actually did this before in one video. He's in. I always lead Dom with this team. And this team is almost similar to the team I used in that last one. But, um, either way, let's just, like, get into it. It's pretty self-explanatory. This looks like standard soul, but I'm actually really bad at using it. So there's also that. I'm also going to have these replays sped up because uh, of how slow they are. So we have a Delmese versus Sableye lead matchup. I, I do stay non-mega to get the will o off, but it backfires because he fires off a Toxic. Um, so yeah, I'm going to switch out into Skarm. He goes into Magnazone, and I'm trapped. I thought I had Shed Shell on this, but I messed up my item, and I'm actually, uh... I'm actually... Can't even think of the item's name. Never Melt Ice, because that's how badly I messed up the items. I'm gonna go to talk to Pex on the Surf. He's protein, so he might be extra sensory. And I probably could've went to Chansey to scout for that, but I thought talk to Pex was cap capable of living. I'm not really sure, because like, like I said, I'm not really... I'm a terrible stall player. I try to I try to haze here in case he's set up, but he goes right for the Gigavolt Havoc. You can best believe I did not expect that coming because I just Toxapex Toxapex just dropped and on the bright side I can trap this, so there's that. Back in a, a hip out on he goes. I'm gonna switch out into Skarm. Um Skarm versus Hippo, like this man's team looks like he just picked five stall breakers and just threw them on because like I'm having trouble with all five of these moms. Like Delmi's is just power. It's not too good, but it's it has a high attack. Magirna, that died because he let Dugtrio trap it, but that's still power. Magnazone and Pinsir and Greninja, you already know. And Hippo, like, it, it, it just sits there taking hits while having a pretty decent attack stat at the same time. You feel me? And he has, like, things he can go into to scout for Toxics. So there's that. I make the... Protect play here, and then make the incredibly obvious switch into Dugtrio to try and trap my man. But, um, yeah, we them boys, but it doesn't work out. I do get the rule where I actually thought he'd go for Stealth Rocks, but this works out, uh, decently well. I'm gonna protect again as he Volt switches. I think I just go into Chansey this time. Well, actually, no, I stay in a recover because I'm no, no, I stay in a recover, yep. Uh, which ends up being a bad play because he ends up not being choiced. Uh, which we'll find out later on, but for now, we're gonna see, uh, he switches back into Magnezone. I doubled the Chansey this time, not wanting to take too much poison damage. I do Aromatherapy, so no more poison to Sableye. Uh, Jewels is back. Power Whip's gonna do, uh, like, 23, which is in, it did 46 and 48. Without, that's, that's how much power the Elmese is packing. Too bad it's not too great, because, like, it's not fast. And... It's like probably really easy to spin block because it is a random spinner. I'm just gonna counter the thing. That's why Skarmory versus Hippo, because like all Skarmory, like Skarmory's only attack is counter, and Hippo can't touch Skarmory. Like his strongest move against it would be Stone Edge, and Hippo has so much more HP than Skarm that counter won't be doing much of anything. Speaking of which, he goes right back into it. I don't want him to get up his rocks or toxic chancy, so I'm gonna switch out to Sableye. He goes for Earthquake, good play. And I think I do just recover because, like, let's be real, if I don't, I'll die. So, Earthquake takes some sand damage. I think I recover again, or I Wisp. Nope, I recovered. And I think I go for Knockoff here, or I just switch out. So, yeah, I, if I'm correct, yep, there's a Knockoff. It does 47. Uh,. So yeah, Power Whip comes out, and I think he just, yeah, misses, but I, I recovered, I think, no, I will miss, but I mean, if he hit, I would have recovered, let's be real, that just, like, takes one less turn off the thing, so I can just protect now, and rest in peace, Davy Jones, back into Greninja, I stay in, I, I, I really like, like, Greninja's no counters, I knock off the Expert Belt, and, uh, which is pretty clean, did 45, which is insanity, in my opinion, but I mean, He's not going to clean the Surf, and I get a Greninja Giant Threat out of the picture, so now Zorka Tree might be able to make something happen. I just need to, like, get some damage on the Hippo, and I have Dugtrio saved up for Magnazone, so this is looking ideal in my favor. I should have probably have recovered here, but, I mean, 
I just got that rocket helmet and he goes for rocks. It breaks Dug Trio's sash, but Zerka Tree still comes right in. Uh it goes for energy ball. Followed by hidden power ground. And it apparently didn't matter because he's a, or apparently mattered because he's AV zone. But it wasn't killing back. Like Zerka Tree is noble, but his strongest move against me was HP ground and that was a killing. And then Zerka Tree just energy balls. Hippo finishes the game. Not the first time a Zerka Tree named James Harden. Has finished out, has finished, um, has ended the game on this channel. And here's the second one. I'm gonna make this one probably a bit faster because it's a lot longer than the first one. But here's basically what you need to know I fixed my Scar Raid item back to Shed Shell. And I think I played this one a lot better than I played the first one. Let's just dive in. So here we go. Um, yeah, there we go. I think I changed the speed to normal or something, but uh, yeah, like I said, Hippo's a problem because nothing can touch it. Like, yeah, it's gonna be, it's like I have to wear it down and whatnot. And this guy just brought Tapu Lele in on uh, Skarmory pretty much every time he had the opportunity, except there. I think he just protected. So I thought he was gonna get some baton pass scheme going on, but nah, he switched out into Tapu Lele. Um, that's gonna be a theme uh, we're gonna run into here. Is there we go? Yep, that's. In fact, I'm just going to do a, like a count. Tapu Lele hard switching into Skarm counter. So yeah, I think it's like on two or three at the moment. But I'll, I'll like watch this over again. And confirm that. So yeah, I get toxic because I set the rocks up. And I, my save is not mega, so I can't prevent him from... I can't prevent him from getting the rocks up. So I'm just going to have to defog here and hope he like... Yeah, he toxics again. Good prediction. He's going to be able to sell the rock. Like, Sculpey's not mega, so there's not much I can do. What does he do? Yup, that's like... There you go, switches Tapu Lele and gets whirlwinded out. Um, I defogged the rocks away as he probably talks it. No, he just plays this game. So I'm like, alright, bro. Let's make the risky Sableye switch. It pays off because he goes to the second layer of Stealth Rock, and now I can Mega Evolve. He goes for Earthquake. Let's get rid of the Sims Leftovers. And slowly, uh, but surely, wearing it down here. As he's gonna switch out, he goes into Tapu Lele, which is surprising because that's not Skarmory, but. Go ahead and change it. He predicts this uh, immaculately. He goes for Psychic. And almost KOs, but the chance he is just strong. I think he suspects based on the damage. Could be wrong though, I probably am. But I'm just gonna like heal back up to full. Get the rocks back up. He's gonna Earthquake, not do much. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch out to Sableye, I think. Yeah, in case he toxics, got him. So like, pro play on my part. And he goes for Earthquake again. I'm just gonna try to Willow, try to catch something switching in. Now I'm going to recover, because, like, if I don't recover, I die. So there's that. And he's going to slack off here. I'm going to recover again, I think. Yep, predicting that. Now I think I wisp again, because, like, the toxic's piling up. And he goes into Zygarde, though. That was just beautiful. Because Zygarde, huge threat. Neutralized by that. And Nogoff, nice crit. Probably mattered. Definitely mattered. But I'm going to go into Skarmory here. Because, like, Thousand Arrows is still neutral. And it won't do much because he's burned. And I can whirlwind him if I want to. So I probably could have reached back in the sturdy, but uh I think I defog here to be honest. Is he slacks up? No, I whirlwind. Alright. In the Zygarde. If he switches, you already know what's coming out. But nah, he's just thousand arrows. Nice crit. But I mean I'm just gonna reach back up to full, back up to sturdy. And uh goes for thousand arrows, it's super effective, does nothing because he's burned, and there's the counter. Zygarde's out of here, in comes Tapu Fini. I actually thought Zygarde would live the counter because Zygarde has a pretty high HP stat used for Nature's Madness. Not bad, not bad. He's gonna taunt, so let's go into James Harden. And he does taunt, and I think, alright, Hippo might come in, so let's Energy Ball, but nah. He wasn't about uh, to let me predict all that, so yeah, I'm just gonna go for Thunderbolt, get my nice beast boost, and he's gonna make the Volcarona play. Volcarona's a gigantic threat because Tox Effects is kinda weakened, but nah, he's gonna sack it to. Quiver Dance. It's not gonna live, bro. Zerka Tree is power, my dude. He goes into Scolipede and I think kills me with Earthquake because it doesn't have any defenses. And uh, I go back into Scar. You should wall this thing. Unless he's like a Z move, but he'd have, he'd have to have some Swords Dance boosts for that to work. He goes for Protect again. I think he might have honestly just given up at this point because I think I defog here. Yeah, I defog here. I don't want the rock to stay. And I think. He tries to get the rocks back up, but that's when I make this Immaculate Sableye switch. 
And I think my dude, like, honestly gives up here because he just stealth arcs again. Like, my man's gave up. So, yeah. Yeah, my man's, my, 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 my man's definitely gave up on this game. <laughs>